marami tayong babaguhin pero marami tayong issues na harapin so don't get disheartened it's part of the battle it's part of the battle and there's a lot of battles there are lots of battles once you step out of your classroom you will have your battle na kapasaba akong sa board exam you will have your battle na ito yung mantra ko kung nasa anak ko nandun yung pera Yan. pero huwag naman ako utangan guys kasi marami rin akong pinagkagastusan <laughs> ang dami ko rin sinusustempa sa buhay pero ang, ang mindset ko palagi kung nasa anak ko nandun ang pera alam niyo kung bakit kasi tumutula ako sa bus tumutula ako sa kalsada kahit saan kung wala akong pera at nakakitita na at naiwan ako sa daan na wala akong pera tutula ako sa bus Hindi ako nagdadala rin. Hindi ako nagdadala ng mga debt certificate o medical certificate ng mga tao may sakit para manginakabuloy sa bus. Kapag tumutuntung ako sa bus, tumutula ako. Tapos ngayon sa ano yan, may kita, may kita nyo sa, sa YouTube ay sa Facebook. Yeah. You have to practice. You have to work on... You can, um, even if it means working on your own projects and developing your own skills on your own, then be it. Okay, so after you're equipped with the knowledge of the design principles, sorry, of the different softwares that you can use, then it's time to continue practicing. Na. So this is very important because not all of us, um, uh, I guess this is just my opinion, pero I guess you would agree if I say that lahat tayo, kahit na sabihin natin professional na tayo, it always, we always have room for improvement. So, this is what I always remind myself as a professional in this field that I am I'm not perfect in any way. I will always have room for improvement and therefore I should always practice. Okay, there are new trends that we can encounter. There are new techniques that we can see and etc. So, you should always do this. If you have a little bit of time, an hour of practice a day doesn't hurt. It's just um kung titiis kung titingnan niyo it's a very short pers- ay, it's a very small percentage of your day kahit isang uh, ay isang oras lang ng pagpa-practice marami kayo uh, magagawa doon hindi lang school ko yung ano ko doon hindi lang school ko yung naging agency ko so naging part ako ng larger picture try to explore no lahat ng yun. And then, ang edge nyo kasi as young aspiring architects is um, your, your knowledge with technology. So, when I was an employee before, who says grad ako, yung mga boss ko na principal architects were like 70 years old, ganyan. So, sanay sila talaga ng manual. And, hindi na, hindi sobrang na na ma-maximize yung potential lang ng technology. Siyempre, hindi nila sobrang familiar ko. Pero dahil kayo, um, nag-aaral kayo, no? try to learn no? as much as possible. That would be your edge. Mm, I'm not really recommending you to go out of the country. no. Pero there's also an opportunity there. And they use no software like PDF Max, no? You sketch up more on local yun yung nagamit. Pero is um, international firms, they use 3DS Revit, for example. So, yun, sa inyo yung sarili nyo doon and pagdating nyo ng practice, madadalian kayo. Thank you for watching at isa to great experience para sa amin na makabalik muli dito sa dalawa ng mga biggest project which is the SMU Impresario and then the SM Aura Premier. And so guys, kabang-kabang ko sa mga projects namin.